the Chief Executive Officer for a nonprofit in the Bronx, and I'm also the District Leader of the Same Nine District as well. So I've lived basically my whole life in the Bronx, but when I, when I joined the military, the Marine Corps, I, I moved out, and I, I've been to Hawaii, California, um, I had a, a tour in Iraq, and I finished off back in New York City and Long Island. Um, but I've always considered myself, you know, the, the Bronx and New York City my home. Well, one of the things I love about New York is that you can pretty much do whatever you want. On Monday, I could go see a Broadway show and then have um, Ethiopian food for dinner. I could go to a baseball game the next day and then have Filipino food over in Queens. Then I can go over to a museum in Manhattan, and the next day have, uh, you know, Indian food in in, uh, in Brooklyn. So the diversity, the options, all the abundance of resources and activities that you can do keep me not only in in New York City and the Bronx, but make me fall in love with it so much. You know, one of the great things about New York City is the transportation system. Like, you can get from almost anywhere you want through bus, train, and, you know, I, I love the fact that I can do it. I, I'm okay with the price it is, but I don't, I'm not crazy about the service, um, you know, the crowdedness and the unsafety, you know, the safety problem that we have um, in the with the, the New York, you know, MTA system. Well, one of the things I don't like about New York is that it is crowded. Um, you know, things are very expensive. The rent is really is really high right now. Um, the reputation that the Bronx has has always given me like a little bit of a you know chip on my shoulder. We have a lot of um, great beauty in the Bronx, but a lot of people overlook that with the reputation that we have. Well, if I go anywhere in the world and money wasn't a problem, I'd say I would visit, you know, the first stop would be somewhere in Europe. Where in Europe, I don't know. Um, but I want to make emphasize on the visit. I, I don't mind stepping out of New York City for time to time, but my love for New York and the Bronx trump it all. So what's my favorite season? I'm gonna go, you know, I don't know what it, I think it's fall, it has to be fall. It's just right after summer or the heat, but right before winter when you get all the snow. And then during that time period, you can wear like, like loose sweaters, relax, be more comfortable. And the activities that you wanna do outside and inside is like right on the, on the scale of, of being able to do it. So like we could go play basketball outside, but at the same time, you want to go have hot cocoa or and some, and, a, and a croissant in a cafe. It's okay and normal, you know. Who who has the best pizza? That's a hard one. So I'm I'm gonna say the Bronx because we have Little Italy. Now, if you go to Manhattan, they have good pizza. There's no doubt about that but you'll find more places where they try to be super unique and then you lose the essence of what you're trying to get. Instead of having a good slice of pizza, you're having an experience, you know, uh, some weird toppings with flavors in it, and then it doesn't look like a pizza to me anymore. My name is Gonzalo Duran. I've been a lifelong Bronxite and I don't plan to leave, so. I'm home.